The first ever event for Pokemon TCG Pocket is here, and we're gonna talk all about it. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. So the new event is a Wonder Pick specific event. I, I always love when new games come out and you get their your first glimpse at what they plan to do for events. So you can get this Wonder Pick. There's also a Chansey variant, which I don't have on the board right now. Maybe there was one that recently expired. No. Okay, so I'll have to just let you know how the Chansey one works. So with the Chansey one, uh, you will see this Meowth. There will be a couple, I think two Meowths and three Chanseys, and uh, they are going to have that little Chansey badge on it. It's kind of, this, this is all they are going to be, basically. So uh, you can get those cards, and they're pretty much just special edition cards. So go ahead and get them from there. You have a ton of time to do that. Don't worry about it. So we also do have the Wonder Hour glasses. You do use these for refilling your Wonder Picks. And then you have these event shop tickets. So getting those event shop tickets from the Wonder Picks is cool because what happens is you can go from there and you go into the shop and then uh, go to limited time events and you can exchange for some uh, the backdrop here for your collection. We also do have the Meowth cover, but I think covers are for binders, right? Yeah, for the binders. I don't I don't do anything with the binder right now. Uh, and then also the desk frame backdrop as well. So that's all pretty cool cosmetic stuff for you to show off your collection in the game. Post down below what your favorite of these three is. For me, I think personally, it's going to be the backdrop. It looks really, really cool. So you can go ahead and get that stuff. So basically, you've got the ability to get the Chansey card, special edition, uh, the Mew Mewtwo, excuse me, Meowth card, as well as the pack hourglasses, or the not hourglasses for packs, but the Wonder Pick hourglasses. And the event ticket so let's go ahead and do this here per usual it doesn't matter wonder picks are always a one out of five chance it doesn't matter what you do um it's just one out of five maybe they'll introduce an item that like lets you have an increased chance maybe two out of five i don't know on a specific card like that'd be that'd be kind of fun right but the game just launched so eventually maybe they'll do something <laughs> so we got that uh not too mad about that but, and and also this is up for 20 days. It's not at all gonna be hard to get those. So there's another alternative way to get those too, by the way, and they have them over here in the events tab. You can get these by collecting, basically the way that this works is they're gonna give you these two. So if you, for whatever reason, say for example, you were doing that wonder pick I just did and you keep getting nothing but Meowth cards. Like you can't get these tickets to go in there and actually claim that stuff. Well, fear not. They're gonna give you basically enough tickets here in the missions tab to go over to the shop because the stuff in the shop is very cheap, very easy. Like you could, you could be done with this in a day maybe two maximum if you wanted to do it you've got 20 days to do it um so yeah they're gonna give you enough to come here and get whatever you want now i i wonder if they'll add more to this or if this will just kind of be what it is maybe there was something in the news i did not see if that's the case please post it down below but the wonder pick event is very simple very straightforward you don't have to worry too much about it but hopefully you guys get that awesome collection saeed thank you so much for subscribing if you're new like saeed is make sure you subscribe subscribe for more content here on the channel uh post down below also like i said what's your favorite card in the game i'm wondering how that is i may be taking some data on that also another thing you can do and you may not know this you probably do but Alas, I like to say it. If you guys are out there wonder picking and you're trying to build uh, a collection, right? Another thing that's pretty cool with the wonder pick is that you can get those cards and however many dupes of them that you get, and you could just kind of turn them into other cards, right? Or not other cards. Let me not say that. You can put the flare on those cards <laughs> and then make them shiny, right? So you can do that with the Meowth or whatever flare you're gonna put on these cards. So that's another thing too. Uh, regardless of how good the cards may or may not be in actual gameplay, if you wanted to just spruce up your cards, you can get some pretty fun flares on them. And uh, this is just an example of what you can do. You can put these on your Meowth, your Chansey, and all that fun stuff, whatever variants they have of these. So that's another incentive to just make sure you're wonder picking whenever possible. But the Chansey one is uh, less likely to occur. And uh, I think that that one costs three for the wonder pick, if I remember correctly. So. You could argue it's probably better to use those hourglasses for wonder picking or just wonder picking in general on cards you literally need for your deck. Like, I don't know, an EX card or something that popped up. So definitely don't set yourself back if that's the case. You've got 20 days to do this. Don't worry about it. Like, you got plenty of time. Don't worry about it. All right, guys. So we're going to open. Actually, you know what? I'm going to save that for another video. We're going to end here and stay tuned because I'll be doing a pack opening really soon, guys.